Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. So, just outside the uh, ground here, hopefully waiting for Tenali now. We haven't seen him yet. Apparently, um, he has came off the plane, so it'll be interesting to see whether we we'll, like do see him or not. But hopefully, we can see him and um, video like a clip of him. And, stuff like that yeah so there's quite a few people here looking to get a glimpse of our new signing from italy um but we're not sure if he's coming to the ground today or tomorrow but um he has landed in newcastle apparently he has been posing for pictures with fans at the airport so hopefully he's on route to st james's park now we'll get some footage for you coming into the ground later on so um we've got adam on the channel again he um features on the channel quite a lot so make sure to check out his channel as well yeah. but I just wanted you to ask, what are your thoughts on Tenali? Well, I'm quite pleased he's came on next year, 23 year old. I think Tenali's a sign that I stand by if Newcastle did not finish in the top four, I don't think we would have got him. Let's say we finished fifth and Liverpool got fourth, I don't think this deal would be possible. So that's how big I was saying I think Tenali is. Someone with the world at his feet, I think he's potential. I mean, he's already done so much at 23. I mean, you've got the Champions League semi final last season. Milan's arguably his best player alongside Rafael Leo. I mean, this guy's as good as you get, and I think Newcastle. I can't believe we've got him, to be honest. It's one of them ones that pinched me quite a bit. Uh, I think it's good we've got him in so early as well, he'd be ready for gear to engage in the America tour. So it's quite a big one. But honest thoughts, I'm not going to lie, I haven't watched the maze the amount of them. What I've seen, though, he looks lively. I think for what he brings at 23 years old, our midfield looks very good for next season. Well, anyway, Adam, thank you for being on the channel. Oh, I appreciate well, it, man. thank you very much. So I'm uh, just here with Eddie from Tyneside Life now. Uh, Eddie, what do you think of Tonali? I think he's an absolute superb signing for Newcastle, a right scoop. Yeah, to get a player like him who's still only 23 years old, he's a full Italian international, he's got Champions League experience behind him. Um, he's a, a, a Boyhood Hood Club as well, PSC Milan. The fans love him, and for him to join Newcastle, you know, for 55 million when he's not even quite at his peak yet, I think it's an, a superb sign. I think he'll bring a lot to the club. Well, thank you for um, being on. Yeah, and you're going to do another game? Yeah, yeah brilliant. So guys, I don't know if you can see, but you can see Keith Downey up there for Sky Sport. So everyone here just um, thought that Holly was covered, but actually um, it wasn't him. I actually did think it was him myself because the car was like a blacked out car. But um, yeah, we've just all been been baited. I think there's a problem going on at the minute. So guys, um, still not in luck for Tenali, but um, hopefully he does arrive soon. If he doesn't arrive today, um, I think he will um, arrive tomorrow. But as you saw, the people who have been here got baited um, quite a few times because they did actually expect Tenali to, um, to turn up and they actually saw um, a blackout car and they thought it was Tenali, but it wasn't because there's actually... Um, there's actually a prom going on um, in St. James's Park, so a lot of people were getting confused as well. But um, some people have been here since um, like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock in the morning. So. so I just wanted to ask you guys, what number do you think Sandro Tonali uh, will get when he joins Newcastle now? There's a lot of people saying number 21 now. I personally do agree with them and I do think it will be number 21 but uh, comment down below your, your thoughts guys. So guys we've been waiting here since half past four. Tenali landed at Newcastle Airport at half four. Um, he was picked up by the club vehicle and he was taken to I believe his house in the northeast. Um, we'll not give the location away of that um, as that's private. But Adam P was here, we've had Serena, the club photographer, we've had Darren, Darren Eels, Eels yeah, well. the, the, the um, chief executive has been here, so it was all set up for Tonali to arrive, but he's not been here yet, so I know the flight that he, that he came on, it, the private jet is leaving Newcastle tomorrow at half five to go back to Milan, whether he'll be on it or not, I don't know, so he may be coming to the ground tomorrow, but um, 
just great to see so many fans here, isn't it? It's just a shame, shame he's not arrived. I mean, yet. the thing is as well. Um, I mentioned this um, before, but um, people, a lot of people, got baited because there was actually a blackout car, and everyone thought it was Tenali. So we were like running towards the car until we realised it was actually for a prom because. Um, you know, you've seen some clips in the video, but there actually is a prom going on as well. So um, a lot of people got baited and actually believed that that was Tenali as well. So I was definitely like going back and forth trying to see if I could find um, Tenali. But there's been quite a few people um, here, like I said, but... I think one of the main reasons why we thought Tenali would be here today is because we saw um, some of the Newcastle United media team with the cameras and stuff like that. So we thought that they were preparing for Tenali coming. And also um, on Darren Eels, he also did say as well um, that, you know, he actually, he actually was asked whether Tenali was coming and he said no. And then when he said, are you joking? He said, oh, I can't really say that. So it seems to me, I know he can't really say anything, but it seems to me he was actually being serious on that. But um, considering there is a prom today, maybe that's a potential reason why maybe. he can I have a feeling he's going to arrive at the ground tomorrow now to be shown around and do all his media work and have his pictures. But even Keith Downey was here. He was up on the, um, the car park where he usually shoots his videos for Sky Sports. So he's left now. So it does look like that Tenali won't be arriving at St James's Park today. Um, he'll be arriving tomorrow to be shown around. But good news that he's landed safely in Newcastle and we're welcoming him to Newcastle and hopefully he has a, a great time here playing for well, us. Well, um, I just wanted to ask you, what number do you think Tenali's going to get? Because there's been a lot of speculation on social media um, over the past few days now. It has been rumoured he will get the number 21. I know the numbers don't get announced um, quite yet, but what's uh, your opinion on that? Well, I think he would probably like to wear maybe the number eight shirt, but I think Anthony Gordon's got that at the minute. Yeah. So whether he would give it up for him or not, I don't know. So maybe you will get 21. Um, be interesting to see. Now, Anthony Gordon has actually said himself, um, praising Ant praising um, Tenali, saying how much of a good player he is. And he's saying that Eddie Howe signed um, such a fantastic player and he's really pleased to, to work with him. So this could be an indication that Gordon might actually give Tenali um, that shit as well. But there was actually just a couple of people who shouted Tenali and we thought, oh, maybe Tenali was here, but they were actually just doing it to wind people up. So I don't know if they were Sunderland fans or something, but um, yeah, hopefully, I do expect Tenali to come in tomorrow. I think potentially why he hasn't came in today is due to maybe there being a prom on, but I'm not too sure. But um, I do expect him to come tomorrow he'll come into the ground they'll get his um his photo done get his interviewing as well but honestly if i said this before but if you told me a year ago when newcastle were in the relegation zone that we're gonna sign tonali i wouldn't have believed you but what what are your thoughts because honestly it's fantastic, yeah he's, well, he's just it? a really good player isn't he you know and he, he's going to be a really versatile player for us and he will um improve the team which is what you want and he's got the champions league experiences we've discussed before so really Really happy for him to come to Newcastle and that he's actually in England now and um, hopefully settling in and getting used to living in the North East and becoming a Geordie. And as well, the thing is, is we've Newcastle have got such a brilliant midfield now and I think um, we need, I'd say, one more midfielder for it to be like an incredible midfield for squad there because you've got like Longstaff, Tenali, Bruno, Joe Linton, Eddie Howe's got so many options and Howe also spoke about Tenali and said, you know, that he's got lots of experience. Um, he's 23, he's already played in the Champions League at the highest level as well. And to be honest with you, for the fee as well, I think it's a bargain. I think it's the fee around 50, 55 Five million. million. Yeah, I think, I think so, that's yeah. an absolute bargain for his quality as well. And it really does make you think, um, 
were other clubs interested? I think Chelsea were very much interested in him as well. But um, thank you for Adam P um, for being in the video as well. We saw Darren Eels again as well. We do expect Tenali to turn up tomorrow. We might do a part two, we'll yeah. see. But um, anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And um, we are closing in on hitting 8,000 subscribers, which would be a fantastic achievement. But it is a shame we didn't see Tenali today. But anyway, subscribe for more content. Um, and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, -bye.